I'm with my boy Sam, baby. We reunited. Hey, we about to go right take here. over Columbus. We about to go hit the mall no. up. We about to stunt out there. No, we ain't gonna stunt. We ain't gonna stunt. We, we about to go get some Yo, fresh swag out here. Quickly, black shirt got deodorant stains on. <laughs> Yo, that's why I'm wearing the jacket, bro. I got the deodorant stains too. That shit is hard to do when you're trying to slide a shirt on after putting deodorant on. Fresh out the shower. Yeah, right? Bro, I got the white one too that like sticks to you. Bro, I'm fresh bro, out the shower. Yeah. Yeah. My shirt, I'm like, like shit. Go, we got like sweatpants on. My mom yeah. was like, rub it together. Just rub the yeah. shirt together. Oh, my mom saw me right now. She. Oh, dude, imagine if our moms like that. Our moms would love each other. Oh, yeah, they would. But they'd be honest. Oh, my God. Dude, I'm just thinking about that right now. Spanish food all day long. <laughs> eat like fucking no, bean. My mom's West Indian. Like, she can cook Spanish food, but she'll put you on to that West Indian. Fuck that, don't cook Spanish. We'll hit uh, up the Spanish. Indian, Indian boy, we mixing I'm over, cultures. I'm over any time. Marcos, no. he came over one time, she cooked up a whole meal at the table. There was not one spot on the table that didn't have food. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, she's like that. That's how you fucking that's, do it. That's Mama Sinful oh, right there. Side note, if y'all don't know about Sinful and the Call of Duty scene, you better learn about him. My man's a boost on You're the ground board, out. and he will be back in full form You're next year. Out. Not even next year, in like a few months. I just said the same to you, go. Oh, we about to be out there. <laughs> Day one officially of stage two playoffs. I'm gonna head to the mall. I forgot shirts. Slacking, I know, slacking, I know. But we're heading to the mall right now. I'm gonna get a few shirts, gonna get a few jeans. Show you guys a tour of the mall in case you've never been to Ohio's mall in the Eastern Market area. And we're about to get busy. Get busy. You guys ever have moments where you're just on the same exact wavelength as somebody? Hold oh, one second. What's going on, man? Are you guys vloggers? Yeah, part of Optic yeah. Gaming, man. You ever heard of Optic Gaming? This is a New York fan right here. Say hi to everyone, man. Hey. Doing alright though? Yeah. Are you going to the stage two playoffs? Yeah. yeah. We'll see you there, man. Alright, all right, be safe, man. Oh, that's a cool kid right there, man. He had a perfect conversation. It wasn't awkward. It was chill. He came up, said hi, and like that's it. That's what I like to see. Those are the encounters that's I like. Potential right there. Yeah. Hey, that's a hell of potential. When you could talk like that at an age like that, your networking skills have a lot of potential. But like I was saying, like me and John have been on the same wavelength. Just, I don't want to get hit by a car. I might. Yeah, that works. But me and New York, hit by cars. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they weave through traffic, they Frogger style. I think we're made of titanium. <laughs> Yo, you ever been on the same wavelength as somebody where everything's just happening at the same exact time for you? Cause that's what's happening with me and this guy. I get here yesterday. I I get word from John that the other John is here too and I didn't know that I totally forgot the qualifiers were happening before stage two so I'm like oh shit let me call him I call him and as he's answering he was already talking about me to his homie royalty just about like how chill we are how we're best friends this that and the other literally as soon <laughs> as I was like I love Jordan Jordan for peace calling your phone <laughs> and we're like what the fuck <laughs> so then later on in the day I go to their hotel and I totally it slipped my mind to hit him up because I had so many people I was trying to catch up with I, I walk out of the hotel room I'm in, look across the hall to a door that's shutting, and guess whose fucking head I see? <laughs> it's my room. This guy, dude. <laughs> and then this morning comes around. And we made the plans to hit the mall. <laughs> we made plans to hit the mall, and right as I'm about to text him, like, yo, what are you doing? Where are you at? He hits me with the, on my way. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys have, like, that relationship with your best homies, but that's how you know we, we are best homies. Conclusion. I'm just going to pop the questions in. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Will you be my bro for life? <laughs> Pinkies. True bros until you pinky promise on some real shit. Yep. Facts. If you break it, you break your pinky. Exactly. She went into Macy's, we thought it was like connected to a mall, but I'm pretty sure it's just like an outlet. There's just a bunch of stores outside everywhere. It's not actually like a mall mall. There's no H&M? Oh yeah, that's where I need to be going, baby. H&M. That's my spot. That way. That way. Uh, that way. That way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, cents in, in my, my bank account. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pennies in my bank account. Mm. In my bank account. We've been walking for at least 15, 20 minutes trying to figure out where the fuck this H&M is at. It's too hot for this. It is too hot. Yo, they're going to tell you to take off the beanie, bro. They've been roasting me because all I wear is beanies. You already know. If you guys saw my haircut, you'd roast me even more. So. That's what I said. I was looking rough. That's the only reason why I was wearing a beanie. It's because I was looking extra rough. to our hair. Yeah. 
like the light skin has got if our hair ain't right it can't be shown we, we we get self-confident about that you know i'd rather you guys go swim for a beanie than my hair any day facts any day if not i'm just gonna go bald hit me with it if we go to texas i might just need to go bald <laughs> dog and just have a beard yeah I, I, if, my, if my hairline ever just like started receding just a little bit oh yeah bald. it's getting cut bald. it's getting if i see bald. one bald spot everything's a bald spot at that point i'm just <laughs> since i can't, can't grow a beard i'm gonna just take all the hair and just <laughs> Back, baby. Anytime I went shopping with a girl, right? She always tells me about how hard it is for her to shop. With you? Yeah. No, no, no. Just hard it is for her to like find something. Oh, I'm gonna be in here for like we 30 minutes. We get a quarter time. of a floor. They be getting like two floors and a half. And we're always you guys have trouble. We're always on the second level. It's always a journey <laughs> always, for the guys. Right? Oh man. I, Look at that. And there's still sections up there for them. Yo, we don't got nothing. We don't get no love out here. Yo, we like dressing up nice too. Yo, we like fashion <laughs> week. What's up? Awesome. <laughs> right, so I got everything I think I need, guys. I got me a few shirts, a few pants. I'll show you them later. There's one more thing I want to grab is some gym shoes, just some straight up all black ones. I'm lacking that right now in my repertoire. I just needed some clothes. Like I said, I forgot to pack uh, more things than just my suits. So this is me just making up for an era at home. <laughs> but yeah, got my boy John with me. Yo. We out here in H&M. We getting some matching shirts because that's what BFFs do. Mm. And it says, the shirts say we came to the future. We'll rock them for you later. We'll sport them. We'll show you what's good. They might, they might see them before this video even comes out. Bro. Right? Hey, we might put them on yeah, right after we walk out the this door. Yo. Hey. <laughs> beep, beep, boop, boop. Locker. Just picked up my kicks. Well, I didn't get them yet. I went to go send the guy to the back to see if they had it in my size. But I went with the I went with the black version of these right here. Yeah, you went with the, just the all black boys. These sneakers right here. They they go with my invisible socks. <laughs> <laughs> the invisible sneaker. <laughs> I ended up just getting the all black ones. Hopefully they have them in my size so I can get out of here and head to stage two. So I could not pass this up. Favorite color, baby blue. Favorite brand is Nike. The only reason why I went with Adidas shoes is because my boy John wanted me to. I usually go all Nike, but I, you know, I wanted to satisfy him. I wanted to make him happy, so I got the Adidas shoes. But that Nike windbreaker, all oh mine. All right, so I told my boy John that I'm usually only shopping for about an hour, hour and a half tops. We got here at what time? 1.20, all right. All right, and we're about to see what time it is real quick. 2.12. Oh, shit. 2.12. <laughs> Wow. Yo, it's because of the windbreaker. You hit under. It was yeah, we would have been like 45 minutes. Yo, that's what we do out here, baby. That's Sorry. what we do. Sorry. We're in and out, you know? Like we get no up a burger. Uh, she hates shopping with her because she takes too long or they have too much clothes. No, no, I hated shopping with her because she, she takes, takes too long. long. Yeah. Women, it's not that hard. You go in, you pick it, you get it, you get out. <laughs> Yo. You know you're burning up, bro, and you won't even risk walking outside to find where your hotel is. We didn't even risk having this conversation outside. We didn't think we'd think straight. <laughs> it's too hot. It's too hot for all that, bro. Look at this. I'm literally sweating. Let me get in the lights so you guys can see this. Yeah, I'm sweating. Blue. No beanie on, and I'm sweating. I have a windbreaker on. That's not even that bad, guys. It's not a hoodie. That's for sure. Who's the man? All right, so me and John about to be back at the Hilton, baby. It's literally like a whole bro date day. I'm loving it, and I'm loving it the is. vibes. About to be back at the hotel, yeah, then we're going baby. to his hotel so he can get dressed. We might be twinning it up today. We're going to see how it feels outside. It's pretty hot right now. A little too hot to wear a sweater. We might have to just carry the sweater in the back. But we're from the future, though, so yeah. that's all that matters. So wait, so then what's the answer for from the future? Oh, shit. That's a good one. Uh, yeah. Damn, what if we go to the future, change the temperature today to perfect sweater weather? Be warm! I mean, no, we don't want warm. <laughs> <laughs> 11 out, you threw your hands up when you said it. Be warm! Alright, so this is one of the outfits I cop, guys. I'm, I'm looking at the camera through the mirror trying to show you the best outlook of everything. But, dude, literally a $15 shirt from, from H&M, $20 pair of jeans. The shoes were the most expensive. They're Adidas, they cost it 100 they're pretty, they're pretty comfy, man. I go for comfy. These are some comfy ass shoes. Like I said, shirt fifteen, pants thirty dollars, shoes a hundred. I also got two more shirts that costed fifteen. I'll at you, baby. Yeah, what's good, baby? Looking right. Hey. <laughs> 
You know I had to put my mans on to them kicks. You already know. Oh yeah, John put me on these Adidas. These are my first, I'm not even boasting, like this is my first time buying Adidas. And I know probably people yeah, are going to be in the Adidas. comments. People are going to be in the comments like, what the fuck, you never bought Adidas? Like, I mean, I just always fucked with Nikes, but these are some comfy ass shoes. I've never really hated on shoes before. Like, I've never got a pair of shoes and just was like, yo, I fucking hate these shoes. Like, that just never happened. So, I'm excited, man. I'll show you guys the rest of my outfits in a little bit. I just don't feel like taking everything out of the bag and then putting it back in there. Especially at a hotel after you have so much shit already laying around. But yeah, day one outfit, man. If you guys see me, say what up. Peace. So we trucking through here, baby. Headed to the gas station right now with my homie John. Yo. We about to pick up some refreshments. And then we are headed to the MLG Arena, baby. Stage two is underway. Let's get it. many of you actually got to see where the pro players warm up, but this is all familiar to me. Years and years of competing. There goes Mr. Ian Porter right there, setting up, ready to get his grind on. This is what it looks like, man, backstage warming up. This is where all the players chill, where I will be chilling for the majority of the part. This is like my home field advantage right here. This is where I like to hang out when I'm at events. And then you go to the back room, just offices through that door, and there's a, a lounge up there. You guys want to see the lounge real quick? I'll, I'll show you the lounge real quick. Give me a second. There's a lot of steps. My legs are tired, man. I'm being lazy. You saw how I just, I just straight up tried to be lazy for you guys. I just tried to put the camera at the angle to show you the door for the chill lounge. I was like, what's wrong with me? I'm about to go watch E6 play versus yes. E United. Gotta support Matt, gotta support Clay. They're all hey, different yeah, teams, right. but we're unbiased. You know, we support our friends. Win or lose, we're happy for them, you know? No, I want Matt to win. Hey, winner, I want Clay to win, you know? <laughs> Oh, Matt's gonna see us and be like, what? Yo. <laughs> A real talk with you guys real quick. Like, I want to competitive. Wait, we going unfiltered? We can go unfiltered, because like, I want to talk about competitive, because I haven't really talked about it yet on my channel. I just, I just gotta understand why anyone would ever drop Clayster. Like, that makes no sense to me. And you can see from United, the way they've been playing, they look like they got so much better, and FaZe doesn't look like they improved or got worse. They just look like they stayed the exact, like, same. There was no hype around them. There was no shit talk about them. It was just nothing. But United, you heard so much about. You just don't drop play. The thing is, it's like, Gunless is a great player. He is. We know that. Gunless is a beast, but Clay just has things that he can't bring. And he has the accolades, man. Gun he has Gunless, the accolades. I'm not saying Gunless won't ever be able to be the type of person Clay is, but as of right now, Clay just has He's the experience, the hype, the knowledge, everything. It's like me and you are hype for his dog. Exactly. <laughs> just over it, and you just can't beat that. Yeah. I don't know. They replace Talo with knowledge, and that only gets it so far. You don't, re you don't replace Clay at the end of the day. So, like, we get it. You, you want the talent. You want the player that seems like he's hot and he's on top right now. But at the end of the day, you can't replace Clayster's history, his present, and what he's gonna be able to do in the future for somebody that's doing something in one title, in my opinion. And I'm not taking anything away from you, Gunless. If you see this video, bro, like, I think you had an amazing Jeez. year. Jeez. Do it again next year. Do it again the year after that, man. Just keep it up. But you still don't drop a man like Clay for you, bro. And you gotta understand that. You, just gotta, be, you gotta be realistic about it. I feel like. Hey, if you were to get offended by seeing this, mm -hmm. I, that would only hold him back on getting exactly. to that level. You Hopefully know that I mean. gives you fire, exactly. bro. Because like, now you know how us veteran players are thinking about the roster this move veteran and player. thinking about... <laughs> now, now you're this veteran player talking about it and you, now you can see where you need to be, how you need to get there, and how to react to the constant like criticism you're going to be getting from yeah. everyone else as well. Because that's like, what Clayster did his whole career. Yo, Clay blew, hey, Clay blew up Dude, from this Clayster, move, Clayster could take any team and turn them into a good team. I think, Gunless can't do that yet. I don't want to I don't want to like put a jinx on the OG boys, but man, Clay always comes back from some bullshit yeah. and wins COD champs. I don't know how he does it, but he does, so. Ah, that's just going to be exciting, bro. It's going to be crazy. Gonna be crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%, 100%, 62% on HP. We gotta step it up, boys. That should be me up there. But don't worry, catch chance, I'll be there, baby.
<laughs> so we just went to the food truck, the one behind me. These food trucks, yo, if you've never been to like one of the MLG events in Columbus, they are fire, yo. Yeah, they really like, are. I, I didn't even know food trucks were balling like that, bro. Like, this is risky that business, ass. though, because we're going to be schlepped after we eat Yeah, things. bro, I'm going to need to go to the hotel room <laughs> probably right after this greasy ass food. We'll get two tacos, but hella no, we, we got one big gyro and fries. The mozzarella. We brothers, we share. And we got the mozzarella cheese on it, so you know. Oh, we're going to sleep. Yo, I'm, I'm going to see you see that spot right there on the road. I'm sleeping right there. <laughs> <laughs> we napping in the middle of this bitch. <laughs> Bella, if you want fries, you can have fries. Have all the fries you want. So, our fries are your fries. You know that Guys, this is the most ab adorable oh, baby girl the in the sea. Fries. And she's running with the fry. Yo, the fry thief! Yo, she's a fry thief. <laughs> <laughs> she's holding the fry hostage. <laughs> I think this might be the clutchest play this weekend, yo. They literally have a cooler. Just filled with Tim Horton's coffee, dude. Yes! Let's go! This is what I like to see, guys. This is exactly what you like to see. Everybody warming up, everyone practicing, trying to get better. This is all familiar to me, man. Competing for six or seven years. This is where it's about. This is literally where it's at right here. I would spend hours in here just warming up, shooting bots, talking to my teammates about strategies, what we need to be doing, how we can improve. This is where it all happens before the tournament begins. Everyone's pretty chill, you know, everyone's homies, man. At the end of the day, we're all friends. What was your name again, bro? My name's Devin. Devin? Yeah, Nice to meet you. He's been watching you for years, man. You know it. He's been watching these guys for years. First event ever. Dude, that's what this is about right there, man. The support system, the green wall is always here. They're always supportive, man. This is what we do with boys. Always. Always. The fresh You know it, man. I don't even wear it, man. I ain't trying to have nothing on you. I'm scared to touch it. I'm scared to touch it. It's so fresh and so clean. Oh, man. I got a couple more. Are you going to sign on the white side? Yeah, man. Wherever you want, man. Right on the heart. Right on the heart of the OG. Oh, hey, man. That works for me. I was watching you back when you guys were taking home, you know, X Games. Wow, this Sharpie's actually like mad nice. That might be the best thing. I got two, I dog. You can have it if you want. <laughs> for real? <laughs> for real, man. I got two. Supporting me and also giving me a Sharpie to be able to help other people out. Who you know. wants to get anything from me. You know. That's, the whole, that's, <laughs> that's how we do it. Yes, sir. You know it, man. It, man. Thank you. No, I appreciate you signing it, man. We don't, we don't get here without you guys. Many, many years of waiting to get this. So. Hey, that's the homie Amy from Chi Town, baby. Thank you. Thank you. That's dope, man. Hey. It's all love. Yeah, me too, bro. Yeah. Oh, man. Real, man. Ass. Dude, that's what it's about, man. I love coming here. I love meeting people who support us. We wouldn't be here without you guys. So just realize that for a second. Yo, Jordan. Hey. You so handsome when you sign this stuff. Hey, why you why you look like my bro right now? Like, we really he's handsome too, bro. He's trying to gas me, but look at my man's boy. That's little bro. That's little bro right there. Oh yeah, baby. It's that time. It is that time, baby. Let's go. Optic versus Fnatic. We getting it. Oh, who's that handsome man? Who's that handsome stud? OG getting it. Starting off strong, baby. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. So this is like the chill lounge. There's a wherever I usually work the desk. There's a room over there we're allowed to go in where everyone pretty much waits before they have to go up and cast before they have to go up and do the desk. This is like the chill lounge. This is where I usually sit for the most part. It's a pro lounge. There's like a lot of people up there that want to talk to me and hang out and just chit chat. But I'm like super tired right now, exhausted. This is like the stay away from me area. I'm trying to chill, I'm trying to watch the games. Simple. The setup here is nice, man. I love it here. Look at that handsome Merc right there. Ooh. That's what you call sex, wait for it, E. Sexy, baby. Oh, damn, damn, Joe. Damn. Oh yeah. This is what we like to see, baby. He's causing problems. It looks like we may see Sunny B coming into the challenge. How long can Skunk survive? Not long is the answer. Fnatic, D, retake the turbo. As promised, guys, I wish I was on the desk right now. I thought I was going to be here this weekend. Miscommunication on my part. I responded to an email like two months ago, or like a month ago, but it literally lined up for as if I could have been going to stage two. But this is what the desk looks like, guys. 
Chill back, relax, eat food, look handsome as fuck if you're these two people. Now this side, this side means only, business right here. Only, only he this side. food. This is where the actual work happens. <laughs> I joke too. Matt, you just eat and stick. Notes, people. Look, people. look at that. That's we hard work. Fighting. That's not here working. Got your screens right here. You sit back, observe the games. It's a European team. There's nothing to write down. They're going to get sold. <laughs> Sucks it's true. It sucks because Matt will say the same exact thing when the cameras are rolling too. That's the best it will. part. It will. No difference. <laughs> but yeah, man, that's the desk, guys. Lose, ben gets uglier. It's, uh, it's the only two consistent things with Cotton. <laughs> wow. And Clay getting dropped the week before champs to go on and win it. That's also happening every year. Uh, it's also very true. <laughs> but yeah, man, these are my buds up here. We have fun. We love this shit. Alright, so you guys want a little fun fact, alright? This is where the casters cast. But if you're a shorter caster, do you see that right there? If you're a short caster, you have to step up on that stool to look like you're level to height with a taller caster. So usually if Pocket or Maven is casting and they're up there with Jack or Mr. X, this is what they'll be stepping on to look taller. I just think it's funny. <laughs> but yeah, that's where the casters chill, break down the games. It's lit out here, man. It's fun. Is this the best your SMD has ever looked for you on a team? And if so, why? Uh, right now, yeah, it's it's been up there as I guess some of my best performances and just our team in general in Search and Destroy. And it just it just comes to us reacting, you know. We're not really doing the same things, but we're just reacting to the teams that we're playing. You know, we don't have any set strategies uh, that we're using every time, but uh, we're just going in and basing everything off what they're doing. It seems to be working. Well, well all right, so Opti just closed out the series. That means it's done for me today. Gonna go head to the mall, my boys, get some more clothes. Cause like I said, I brought way too many suits, not enough regular shirts. And uh, yeah, you guys can follow me there to the mall, baby. Chilling with my boys from E6 right now. Trying to find Nick the most swaggy pair of shoes for him right now. Get my man all star studded for the weekend. Every pair you wanted, they didn't have his. Hey, he got the right squad picking him out some shoes though. Look at the squad lineup real quick. Handsome ass motherfuckers. What you think of this purchase, dog? That's nice. It's fresh? That's flamey. Fresh? Wait, let me get a close up on that real quick, bro. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh, hey. Alright, we go, we go. I'm done, I'm done. Right. <laughs> Day one of the vlog and at stage two playoffs, guys. Headed back to the hotel. Gonna decommish. Gonna chill, gonna kick back, relax, and hang out with everyone and finish off the day right with the homies just chit-chatting. Fun day. Day one was awesome.